What I want to show you today is one of the best ways to apply texture to your designs in Photoshop. What I'm going to do here is I have my graphic and you can see I have my layers panel open. That's window layers. And it's got a bunch of different layers in here. It's got transparent background. And in a separate file, I also have a texture. Now this is a vintage cracked ink texture from the Plastisol collection. Um, you can use this texture or you can use any texture that you have on your computer. What I'm gonna do here is let's go to this texture and just select all, that's Command or Control A, and then just copy it, Command or Control C. And what we wanna do next is go back to our graphic, navigate to the top layer, and just do a Command V or Control V to paste in that texture. And what I wanna do is I wanna scale this texture down just so it fits our graphic. So let's do a Command or Control T there. So these textures are optimized for t-shirt design. So it's best to scale it about the size of your t-shirt graphic and that'll equate to a nice cracked ink looking texture on your final design. So this is an opaque texture. It's just black and white. There's no transparency. If you wanna see how your texture kind of looks over on top of your design, you can just change it to like a multiply layer. But what we wanna do is we wanna apply this texture in a layer mask. So I think the scale of the texture looks good. So let's just turn the visibility of that off for a second. And what I wanna do here is let's highlight the top layer and then shift highlight the bottom layer. And I'll do a command or control G to group these layers. So these are all in a group now. And the other thing I wanna do is I wanna make a background color which kinda of represents our t-shirt fabric color. So let's do layer, new fill layer, and then a solid color. And I'm gonna click OK. And that makes a blue color fill. Now let's just drag this below our graphic there. So we have texture on top, and I'm actually gonna turn that back to normal so it's black and white. And below that we have our t-shirt graphic and below that we have our fabric color, our blue fabric color. So what I wanna do here is let's turn the visibility of this texture back on and let's go into our channels. So that's window channels. And we can just command or control click on this RGB channel. And what that'll do is that'll make a selection of everything that's white. So let's go back to our layers turn off the visibility of this texture. And in our group here of our graphic, we can go layer, layer mask, reveal selection, and that knocks the transparency through our design. And the thing that's nice about this is it's non-destructive. So we're not deleting out pixels, we're not messing up our graphic. And if, if we don't want that texture anymore, we can just go layer, layer mask, delete, and that'll get rid of that texture. So you can always change your texture, you could change your graphic, and it's not gonna mess anything up. So that is one of the best ways to apply texture to your designs in Photoshop. These Plastisol textures are in T-Shirt Design Master Collection 1, but they're also in a bigger bundle called the Big Six Bundle. That's the biggest bundle I currently offer on the vectorlab.com. The graphic itself is in another collection called the Aventura Collection, and it's a collection of outdoor graphic and logo templates. Thanks for watching.